once you do that, and that is the natural thing in the world, you can add another shape, right? Don't practice the five positions of the pentatonic scale. That's a waste of time, right? Up and down like this. Why? Because guess what everybody's complaining about once they follow this system of, of learning the pentatonic scale, five you know, positions, is that they fail to be able to go horizontally like this. They can't do it because they've been practicing and re-practicing and practicing over and over again, then forgetting a bit, then practicing it again to go vertical, to stay in one box shape and then move on to the next. So if you have any chance, if you don't know all the shapes that you know by heart and you don't master every position of the pentatonic scale, then congratulations, the, the damage isn't that big yet, right? So that's really great. Instead, you wanna practice what you wanna learn. It's amazing that I have to say that sentence because it, it's like, duh, of course. But you know, you don't wanna practice going vertically like that. Nobody wants to do that. We wanna fly across the fretboard. So fly across the fretboard and stop the idiotic, uh, you know, strategies of doing what everybody else has does for years and then, you know, for decades, for, you know, 500 years. And then afterwards we get prob into problems that we then try to solve. Because every time we practice something, we practice something that we do not want as well. But we don't see that, right? We choose one practice method, but what we fail to see or have our attention on is what am I practicing my way out of when I'm practicing my way into this, right? <laughs> and this is such a good example. So what you want to do instead, I'm not saying that you don't want to divide it. You can use that framework, right? Five different positions, fine. But you don't want to practice them up and down. What you do want to do is you want to use that kind of you know strategic thing there by going back and forth on two strings or back and forth on three strings. So the second you have the first one down, you might learn the second. But you don't want to practice soloing going up and down like that. It's a freaking horizontal instrument. Look at it, right? It's not like this. It's like that. So you want to do, move mm, ah, right away, right? So as soon as you've got, you know, just kind of a... You know, an idea of where are the notes up here? You want to go back and forth between the two shapes, right? And now I'm saying the two shapes, but it's not two shapes. You just took the whole puzzle of the pentatonic scale on the very horizontal instrument called the guitar and the guitar neck, and then you broke them up into vertical shapes. But they aren't there. It's just a tool we use in order for us to play horizontally. So we break up the puzzle, right? That's what we do. We say, oh, that's a lot. You know, we got the same note twice and th three times on the neck. So let's break them up like that. Good idea. Okay, cool. But don't forget that you're actually, you know, you just broke them up in pieces in order for you to be able to put them together again. So put them together right away. Magical thought in, you know, Einstein level stuff, right? No, it's not. It's just, you no, know, come on. So as soon as you know how to go up, right, on the top three strings here, you want to go up and you want to start playing licks and you want to start moving around. Right? And you want to start utilizing. Right? You want to start going back and forth with a jam track in the background, improvising, having fun, right? And then you want to do it on the bottom as well. Start with one string at a time, right? That's cool. And then you do the third. Uh, once you have really, you're so used to going. Right? Once you do that, and that is the natural thing in the world, you can add another shape, right? And go back and forth right there, and then back and forth here, and then right. And be sure you have mastery over one area before you move on and you can have that easily if you improvise with it instead of playing scale shapes up and down like a moron right sorry i'm not pointing fingers at anyone i said like a moron i didn't say you were a moron i was not a moron when i did that stuff but i acted like a moron right we're told to do so <laughs> in books that we read or get right so uh or youtube videos so 
So go back and forth right away. Make sure you don't program yourself to go vertically up and down all the time, right? Why would you do that? That's idiotic. So enough ranting and raving. Uh, now it's time to subscribe to this channel. Go watch the other videos and download the free course and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, hit the bell icon. And that's about it. Oh, leave a comment. By all means, <laughs> leave a comment. Uh, I'm reading every comment you write. And I'm, you know, getting wiser and, and better at what I do. So uh, thanks for that. See you in the next video.